And today we got our hands on a new report that we've been asking for for literally months, laying blame for a violent riot inside a juvenile detention facility. Ryan Raish has been going through it all day and tells us now what went wrong. And that is all new at 5. Ryan? Ellen, of this new report we just got our hands on finds several violations of department policy. It blames the people in charge of the facility for not being prepared and not doing enough to stop the violence. You can hear the chaos through the 911 calls, a riot that caused wild destruction throughout this juvenile detention center. They have totally, totally trashed the place. We now know staff members at the Avon Park Youth Academy made some serious mistakes that August night when some 60 kids turned violent. ABC Action News obtained this draft copy of the Inspector General's report that found serious policy violations. The report says Administrator Garrett Zegers, who is no longer with the agency, failed to ensure the safety and security of the teens by not having an effective riot and major disturbance plan. In fact, during an interview, the Assistant Administrator said he was not aware of any plan to address a riot. The report says the staff was inadequately trained. A big sticking point in the report is the use of plastic type cuffs to control rowdy kids. DJJ policy allows staff to use them, but the report says they were trained not to use them. And one staff member said they didn't even have them. Since the beginning, Sheriff Grady Judd said staff could have controlled the situation if they had proper riot gear. We'll never know because they didn't have the opportunity. But very likely, they could have stopped a riot and limited it to simply a fight between juveniles arguing over cup of noodles. DJJ says it will never allow the use of pepper spray or tasers, but since the incident, the agency, which contracts with G4S to run the place, installed security cameras. They also downsized to an 80-person facility instead of 144. Spokesperson stressed this is only a draft report. The content may change before the final report comes out in a couple months. I did talk to Sheriff Grady Judd a little while ago. He called the changes encouraging, but isn't sure if they are meaningful, or as he put it, it may just be rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. He also noted that the agency still has not paid the $50,000 bill from the county. I'm Ryan Reich. Back to you.